It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence. But I'd written off too many of those already. This hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs.
De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in a mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. Da Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get... Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. soundtrack to my life. And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Finally. It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E aí, doutor? <risos> For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. something I wasn't seeing. arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. 
or the crotch of Prado in Victor's pocket. Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <laughs> At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. been going real cheap. If I was going to plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. You 
porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem. My problem. Want to know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is. I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything. We have the record. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy.
was dangerous, friend. I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, Listen. now come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and his brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. To get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. Was she married into a sick family? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Look, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I. Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming here. Yeah? You know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah!
Olha aqui. Tropa, tropa. Ei, moço. Mano, pra... quem é esse cara aí? Vai da tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Conta do Deus. Deus. <risos> Meu conta eu tenho que tomar no cu, Ela não desgruda dela, meu. Ei, quem é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não desgruda. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocentes! Por que é que você vai acontecer contigo? Toma alguma aqui! Por que você vai me acontecer, caralho? Tá pensando o quê? Hã? Onde é que você veio? Fica aí, caralho! Eu! Se fudeu, filha da puta! Otário! Vai, olha aí, otário! Deixa eu sair daqui, né? Ô, ô, ô! Segura a porta aí! Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What, what? are you doing? What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, doing here? What are you doing here? Me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working.
Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Have a nice day guy. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, seemed I was too. Bag those up for evidence. It was Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell, and no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. Kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes.
Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time.